All right, boys and girls, we got some Cinna Caitlyn bot lane. This is, uh, we have matching runes too. Uh, this is easily one of the uh, strongest bot lanes. I, I always really like locking two things with Cinna. I like doing Starving Cinna, where you have a uh, like tank front line as your ADC, or I like playing Double Sniper Cinna, where you're both like on the same page. You both have a huge range advantage. You can just absolutely dumpster these people from like three screens away. So Velkaz can match our range, but Jinx definitely can't, even with lethal tempo procced. So we're we're just going to abuse range, guys. We got the double snipers. We dodge that because we've got supreme movement. Boom, boom, boom. We're gonna dodge this one too. Already got Jinx's potion. We want to keep it up though. Don't let her rest. Here we go. This guy's rooted. Okay, we got his flash. That's huge. Go, bro. Flash auto. Beautiful. Beautiful. Let's freaking go, man. All right. I actually like this ADC. You guys know I very, very rarely say that, but that guy actually played aggro when he was supposed to. Could have done it a little bit earlier. I was pulling like a lot of pressure, but he got the job done, boys. Yeah, same wavelength. I, dude, I'm telling you, if I have an ADC that matches my aggression, we'll win every single game. And it's really, really easy to with this bot lane. Because, like, unless they have, like, a Blitzcrank or, like, a Leona, something that could just, like, start the fight, we just outrange everything. We just have more access to damage. All right, we're going to go... I mean, they do have Cassante. I, def I think I definitely need to go Kraken Slayer. I'm going to go uh, Kraken Slayer into uh, into RFC. Just, just to really cement home the range gap that we have. Morgana good right now, or do you ban her because she counters Senna? No, she definitely... Do Actually, Senna counters Morgana. Senna's like one of the best champions you can lock into Morgana. But I just don't like playing against Morgana. She's just a... I don't like her. She she makes games really boring. No sums bot. To be able to just bring Graves down here. So we want to like start fighting ASAP so that Graves can gank. Get them to use their spells. Get, you know, whittle a little, little bit of their uh, their health away. Nice, nice, nice. But yeah, notice how like Caitlyn wanted to just sit there farming. I started, I started the fight, right? Get, give them something to shoot at. Make them use their spells on you. Make them commit to it. They can't just walk away. Like if, if Graves ganked and they're at full health there and have all their spells up, we don't get that kill. We do not get that kill. So get them invested, guys. Force them to either just take free damage from you or just sit there and like commit to the fight. Your health bar is a resource. Oh my God. So guys, I love it when you repeat things like concepts back to me. It makes me realize you guys are actually paying attention when I say these things, exactly. Use your health bar as a resource. Not bad, not bad. We got Viego here. Need to leave. Misplayed a little bit there. I'm just gonna W there early because I don't want to give him the ability to like flash stun me. Gonna take it back. They're gonna push this into him. Uh, I don't think Viego can actually solo this. But he might bring the Jinx and via uh, Velkos here. Oh, so close. Graves is gonna show top, which means if Viego is on Dragon, he's gonna know that he gets it. For free. That's looking like a failed gank too, rip. 
I wish Vex would walk to this dragon with me because we I think we could have actually stopped it, but They just don't have the foresight guys Gonna do what I can though Yeah, if Vex was here. This is actually just like the, a free double isn't it? Let's go baby, let's freaking go we got the dragon. Oh my god. Let's go. It's a bot gap, boys. Okay, so I'm going to teach you another concept. Since now that I know that you guys, that Twitch chat is actually listening when I say these things, we were playing as if, as if we're invincible there, right? Because they have two choices. They, they pull off the dragon the second they see us, and they fight us, or they try to flip the dragon, which means they have to use all their abilities, all their auto attacks on, on the dragon, which means we just get to hit them for free, right? So there are times where if you can correctly identify that they're, they're in that type of position, you can do something that in my coaching sessions, I call play as if you're invincible. Just play as if you're invincible, bro. They, they, ha they have to keep hitting the dragon. They can't hit you. They cannot do both, right? So there's a lot of times, especially early in the game, where the jungler can't like hit the blue buff and hit you. This was actually a concept that like Tarzan absolutely drilled into my brain when we were playing on C9. It was for Wild Rift, but it, like it absolutely applies to League of Legends too. Because he would get so tilted, like when the enemy team would like invade his jungle and then he just has to keep hitting the buff so he can't even defend himself. Thank God I didn't waste my flash there. Um. But yeah, there, there's a lot of times, and if you know how to find them, there's so many times, even in PC League, where it's like, they they can't do both. So you just free hit them. You're invincible, bro. They can't hit you. Must be getting good at it. Yeah, that, was a, that was a little bit of an overstay there on our part. Ooh, executed. Get out of the river, bro. I don't know what that guy was thinking. All right. Unfortunately, I think they just got uh, double buffs. Man, and they got a big shot down on Caitlyn. That's all right. We'll, we'll take those buffs right off of them. Nice. I was watching to see if I needed to ult that. I mean, we could be warding try here, but I think he has to go top. Rift Herald. If he ganks bot here, it's whatever. We've already gotten the plates, and we get free Rift Herald. Okay, he's top. It's another thing, guys. Think about where where you think the jungler's going to be. Where's he going to be? He's got two options, right? We're prepared for both of them. Might be looking to alt top. I really want to use my alt because we need the DPS if we're going to actually solo kill them down here. I don't want to use my ulti top unless I really have to. Just kind of keeping my head on a swivel over here. Look at all those souls, bro. No, I missed like all of them. All right, we got, we got the Rift Herald and we got an assist. Maybe that's worth for as an alt. It's actually a great knockup. Kept me from killing him. All right, they are like losing the war over there, so. Doing what we can down here though, boys. Still got about a thousand gold before I get my Kraken.
Look at this, boys. They even got like so many ganks. What was that, like two ganks they got? Still got dragon control, still got first turret. Yes, sir, baby. It's a bot gap. All right, so Viego is top. Graves should not be like trying to uh, fix this play. You should just be walking bot and making a play on the other side of the map. Like it doesn't really matter if Scion dies here. What does matter if we is if we get the dragon. So the second he sees Viego like committed to this gank up here, just walk bot. Make a play on the other side of the map. It's it's a it's a 100 like efficient strategy. Whereas like okay maybe this gank works, maybe it doesn't, maybe they both die. But imagine like if instead of using all this time up here, instead of going top and dying, he just walked bot and got dragon. Would that be crazy, guys? Nice try. Got him slowed. Beautiful. Nice little ward Q action, baby. And we get mid plates. My man. My man. We get all of them. That's huge. Take a Raptors too. The oh. hell? Haha, no Raptors for you. Oh, the Raptor, <laughs> the Raptor rooted him. And I moved the ward before they hit it. So now they're tilted. Bye bye. Oh, it's a yeehaw. Okay, she's got lethal tempo proct. I don't want to just like sit there and duel her. So I can get her low for uh, Caitlyn all here. Oh, Caitlyn all. Boom, baby. Beautiful. <laughs> All right, we got full crack and we are just actually take. I think this is a great game. This is like a case study of like how hard bot lane can take over the game, even if the rest of their team is just not playing that well. It doesn't always pan out like this, but like, dude, we're kind of like running the map. Yo, I'm gonna be real. That Prestige Cassante is not it. The base skin, the Empyrean Cassante is awesome. The Prestige one is kind of lame looking, not gonna lie. I'm not making it out of there either way, so may as well just like commit and flash. That's a solo kill, by the way. I literally just solo killed their ADC right in front of her, her team. Uh oh, I think my team gets wiped here. Okay, nice. Just cut ties with Vex. They're like, good luck, girl. On my way, Kate. Don't get bulldozed, please. Oh, we get a Hextech soul. Yes, please. Yes, please. Play for soul. Like dragon soul. Not, not, not the things that I pick up. Okay, he has no stun now.
Oh, that was a really greedy ult. I shouldn't have gone for that. I don't even think it would have killed him. All right, we need to get out of the bad habit of just going mid. Mid, mid at this stage of the game, it's really easy to just greed for it because we are ahead for sure, no doubt. But we're not quite ahead enough to like do whatever we want, you know? Beautiful. Just run them over, baby. Uh, this is kind of too early. Too early to take inhib. Don't take it. Don't take it. Don't take it. Oh my god, my team's listening. Yeah, if we take it this early, it's going to be pretty hard to close the game out. Free dragon in 40 seconds. Can I blue, please? Oh my god, he's actually giving it to me. Dude, I've been blessed with the jungler that gives resources. Here, here. It's a fair trade, bro. It's a fair trade. I, get, I give you scuttle. See, believe it or not, guys, I'm not greedy. I just want to put resources on the... Oh, no. Oh, my God. I thought that... I thought that Yone was about to get, like, a four-man ult. Bro, why is this Kisante not dying? Kasante took like seven autos more to kill than I thought he would. Wow. We got wrecked. Well, I guess we're not getting soul this game. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. Why is it too early to take the inhib? Uh, okay, so right now, the wave is going to be pushing out towards our turret. So in order to get this entire lane of resources, they have to take a risk. Even if it's only coming out to here, but soon that wave's going to be like out here, maybe even here. Eventually it'll crash the turret, right? Um, But if we give them, if we break the inhib, our supers are going to push into their base automatically. And then it's just giving them extra XP that they may have missed otherwise. So the only time that you should break an inhib is when you can use it as momentum to either end the game or get an objective. Like, I'm sure you've been in a lot of games where you have this huge lead, you take an early inhib. Bring it down a notch. And then you just, over the next couple of minutes, you just throw, right? Bro, this champion's cracked. It's wasted my flash. Oh my god, the shmoomit right out of the freaking... Oh, and I landed the W. Oh, triple kill, baby! Yo, the shmoomit out of the Yone ult. The prediction of the Viego dash. That was just clean, baby. That was clean. All right, we can start taking inhibs now because now we can... Now Baron's on the table. Bro, dodge, hello? Alright, I got LDR now. If something wasn't trying to kill me, it would have me worried. The last things of the eye. Oh, don't let this stop my back, man. 
Why you do that, bro? Coming up on a hundred, uh, hundred, hundred souls, hundred ghoulies. And I'm on three items. We're gonna go collector last item. We could go IE. It's not bad. Actually, I think we just go a lethality item. We're already, we're already maxed out on crit. Like beyond maxed out. Is that a Yeehaw on Kasante? Oh, true. I hit a Yeehaw on Kasante. Guys, give me a Yeehaw in the chat. It's a very, very late Yeehaw, but give me the Yeehaw in the chat. Come on. I need to see it. I did get a kill with my ulti there. Yeehaw. Yeehaw. Little, little delayed haul. Alright, we can kill their top laner and then go to uh, Baron. Sante, then Baron. He's looking for an escape angle. He's gonna let. Oh, he. This is ult, I think. Yeah, he's looking to ult someone through the wall and try to escape that way. Shindus is Baron. We have, inst we, we have perma pressure bot. We see their Yone. Their top laner's dead. We have somewhat of mid prior right now. Yo, Vex, anytime, bro. My god. Oh, my god. I'm not going in the pit. I'll just hit it from over the wall. I take a little bit more b damage from Baron back here, but it's safer than me being in the pit, I think. Yeah, see, I could have gotten hit by that. All right, we're just straight up buying a stopwatch. I don't know if I'll turn that into anything, but we're buying the stopwatch. Guys, I know that like I'm a little bit biased, but I promise buffs on Senna are so good. Red buff more so than blue buff, but blue buff is good too. Cause like my mana costs are really high. playing to keep him here. Actually, I, I can get a little more in his face because I've got ulti. Or I've got the... Oh. Okay. I'd stopwatch is what I meant to say. Yeah, red buff is like god tier on Senna. Because like people are always like, oh, the red buff should go on the jungler. The red buff should go on the ADC. The red buff at its core should go on whoever is going to, ult, uh, is going to auto more. Whoever has more access to auto attacks, th that's who should get the red buff. In my opinion. And it's just almost always going to be Senna. Because, like, at this stage of the game, bro, my my auto range is psychotic. My auto range is 700. And then I've got RFC making it even longer. And ward queues, like... Oh, hello, Viego. Viego. Aoki, has your weekend been? What's up, man? My weekend's been good, actually. Been chilling. Uh, is Viego coming back to me? Oh, no, there he is. Man. Bro, this champion is so dumb. Like this massive freaking invis that he can do. All right, now we just start cracking open inhibs with Caitlyn and Senna. My health bar.
guys believe that I just lived through that? <laughs> oh my god. I just got Velkas ulted. Ran down by Viego. Yone ult. The Yone ult unironically, like, saved me a little bit. The Yone ult actually, like, pulled me towards my team a bit. And then, thank god I bought the stopwatch. I would have died like eight times there without stopwatch. Ooh, get him. Ooh, get him. Yes, sir. Guys, thank him. And we go. 9 to 3 and 19. Not a bad little educational Cine support video. That was a fun one. Yo, guys, put a. Put a one in the chat if you learned at least one thing during that game. Just one thing. Could be big or small. One, 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 one. Couple oneers. Couple oneers. All right, all right. Couple oneers. We take those. But uh, let's take a look at the damage charts. Of course, we're topping them as always. 27,000 damage. I'm surprised Caitlyn fell behind so far. We had a really good laning phase. Uh, and she got a lot of the early kills. 27k com damage coming out of Sinus Support. Uh, there is the runes and itemization if you want to try it out on your own. But uh, hopefully you guys learned something from this educational Sinus game. If you guys watch this on YouTube, let me know what you guys think of the build strategy in the comments. Always take it easy. Peace. Uh...